Dan, first and foremost, why do you think Dubai chose you? What do you think they want to achieve by 2023? Well, they laid out a vision uh, going back, I think, four or five years ago to uh, make driverless trips 25% of uh, total trips traveled in Dubai by 2030. Uh, and I think they've chosen Cruise because they believe we have the best uh, possible chance of helping them make that vision a reality, uh, given performance of our core technology, our purpose-built vehicle, the Cruise Origin, uh, the fact that we're all electric, uh, and the fact that we're partnered with General Motors and Honda and have the ability to build these vehicles and deploy them at really big scale and make a really big impact. Dan, do you expect to launch commercially in the UAE before you launch commercially in the United States? No, we expect to launch uh, first in the US, uh, beginning in San Francisco, and then uh, expanding uh, from there, and then moving to the UAE uh, as our first international market uh, after our US launch. So if that's the case, why does Cruise not put a firm date for a commercial launch in the US? Uh, well, it's 2021. Uh, we've begun driverless testing. We're uh, you know, making rapid progress with the Cruise Origin. Uh, we've talked about uh, beginning operations in Dubai in 2023, so you can infer uh, uh, that a uh, U.S. launch will happen sometime in the uh, in the middle there. Well, talk to us about delivery, other mobility, use cases, and also just how you fold all of this in to what we're seeing with chips at the moment, Dan. And has that in any way been an issue for the new developments that you want to be going into? Uh, well, on the delivery side, we announced a uh, partnership with Walmart back uh, last November uh, and have kicked off uh, a pilot program with them. Uh, that's actually happening in Phoenix uh, in Arizona. Um, we'll have more news to share uh, on that front uh, relatively soon. Mm -hmm. So we certainly see that as a big opportunity uh, in addition to the, uh, to the ride hail business, which will uh, kick off here in San Francisco. Uh, on the chip side of things, it hasn't really uh, directly impacted us at all uh, at this stage. Uh, we're still making really rapid progress uh, on uh, everything that we're working on uh, and are in pretty good shape and moving really quickly. Dan, when will we see Cruise IPO? Is that contingent on you becoming revenue generating? Well, all of our focus right now, it is on getting uh, our initial commercial products here uh, launched, uh, both on the ride hail side uh, and on the delivery side. Uh, and that's really where all the energy of the company is uh, right now, is making that happen and uh, you're getting, uh, getting the product on the road. We've seen a lot of consolidation in the, in the self-driving space. You recently acquired Voyage, which was kind of sp specialized, focused on retirement communities. Do you think you'll see further consolidation? There's a lot of players out there. Are there any types of companies, any names that you've got your eye on? Yeah, I think uh, consolidation for an industry like ours at this stage is is pretty inevitable. Uh, we're not surprised to see uh, the consolidation that has already uh, transpired. And I think you know, we're down to a, a pretty small list of uh, larger companies that, are, you know, that have a, a, a real shot of commercializing this technology. Uh, the Voyage team is a super talented and experienced team. And uh, we're really pleased and thrilled to have had them uh, join us on the cruise mission. And uh, great to have them on board. Give us a bird's eye perspective of when you're looking at regulatory environments, countries that are pushing ahead. I mean, clearly Dubai, as you said, set out a plan years back. How is the regulatory landscape unfolding as you envisaged it? Is it faster? Is it slower? Is it more uh, concerning? I'd say in general, uh, it's on track. Um, but we think it is really important that, uh, you know, that the United States and other countries around the world uh, you know, do set a very clear regulatory pathway. Uh, and that's one of the things where Dubai has demonstrated real leadership is the willingness to, to create that pathway and, to, and to, you know, to make this a reality of putting self-driving technology on the roads uh, in, uh, in large scale. So, so we're feeling good and constructive on it, but uh, it's really important that the U.S. maintain a leadership position here. And uh, I think all indications are that we're headed in the right direction. Dan, as you know, I'm a San Francisco resident. I see your vehicles testing every single day. When am I actually going to be able to hail a cruise origin shuttle, get in it and take a ride here in the Bay Area, California? Uh, so the cruise origin uh, begins production uh, you know, late, uh, later part of next year, early part of 2023 is the, uh, is the time frame for origin production. Uh, but it's possible that you'd be able to uh, uh, to take a ride in uh, one of our uh, existing AVs before that time.